Hi, my name is Chuck Devanchi, and I am the instructor for this Math 142 class that you were taking through Wacom Community College, and you're doing it online. And um, I just wanted to take a little bit of time, show you some things about WAMAP, this instructional shell that we'll be using, just to get you used to expectations for the class and, and how it works, just, just thinking about WAMAP. So you're here, you're watching this video, so you've, you've already investigated a little bit. When you logged on as a... This is a student view. You'll always have a student view. When you log on, you'll get stuff like this. There's announcements here. Like I said, you've already seen this. I'll make announcements once a week or so. Just, just heads up stuff. Um, week one, you can see resources. Week two, I'm going to click on the instructor part. This isn't a, a screen that you'll see, but as you can see, I have um, a bunch of weeks on here. Weeks, uh, final review, midterm review, all that stuff. So as we get closer to those actual weeks they'll they'll populate this list they'll they'll get into here so you've already taken a little bit of a look at at week one like i said you're you're here so um, i'll have announcements for the week um this is just a note what to do you're already watching this course intro and then within a week there'll be the lectures for the week too so section 6.2 6.1 6.2 and, and in here, you'll notice that I have, all, there'll be an online lecture, there'll be homework to do out of the book, and then these additional links it, just if you need them. So that's, gonna, that's for each of those sections, kind of the lectures. And we'll get to quizzes and forms in a second. More than a second, more like a minute or two. Um, so let's take a peek in resources right now. And resources... Is where I keep things as you can see like the syllabus and the calendar a little bit some tips some links to some forums and a little bit of calculator help if you need it so I want to look at the syllabus in the calendar right now looking at the syllabus it's it's here you always have access to it so this is our course uh, this right here this is my email at Wacom this is a decent way to get a hold of me a better way to get a hold of me because I will be checking it all the time is messages here so if you just go over here uh, we have our own messaging system that's within WAMAP and I will check this often this is the quickest way to get a hold of me if you have any questions or anything like that okay back to the syllabus a couple things you can read the syllabus a couple things that I want to point out on it We have two cases where we, we're going to do face-to-face -face exams. This is a requirement of, of online math courses at Wacom. We have a midterm. There's the date, place, and time. Uh, final, date, place, and time. Now, um, these are rocks in the course. These are, these are fixed. If you are taking this remotely, if you're not in Bellingham, or if you have a serious conflict with one of these dates, contact me as soon as you can, and we can figure out how to proctor, get the test proctored for you. Um, I've had people take online classes uh, from as far away as, as Florida, uh, and we can do do proctoring. We'll talk about it if you need it. All right, a couple other things. Uh, so those are face-to-face. -face. Put them on your calendar. Be there. All that. Here's our grading scale. Oops, here's our grading scale right here. You can peruse this as you want. Um, a couple of things. I have different categories that I'm going to test on. The midterm and the final, we just looked at those. 30% and 35% of the class. There's a couple of the pieces, uh, what I'm calling practice quizzes, they'll be abbreviated PQ, and forums, together are 15% of the grade. And then time quizzes, which will be TQ on the calendar, are 20% of the grade. So practice quizzes, um, these are not timed. You can, you can have as much time as you need on them up to the due date. Um, you get four attempts on each question and you get feedback on it. Um, and they, they must be completed, this is true of everything, by 11.59 p.m. on their due date. Um, so practice quizzes are really just questions that are what the lectures have been over, things that I think you should know. Um, also, we do forums. Each week, uh, check for instructions on the forum. Every week, you, you'll need to make one forum post at least and at least one response to someone else's form posts. And these are off of prompts, questions that I'll ask you to respond to. And they are part of uh, grades in this category. Uh, then time quizzes. So time quizzes, notice you have two hours to take them 
from when you open it up. So even if you like leave it, the clock's still running. You'll run out of time if you sit it down. Um, if you're doing good on those practice quizzes, the time quizzes will be easy for you. They, believe me, they're, they're really closely tied together. Um, you get three attempts per problem on time quizzes. And again, you know, complete them by 11.59 on the due, bait, due date. You know, take a look at other notes that I have here as well. And one other thing I want to draw your attention to on the syllabus here at Wacom, um, our math center is great. Um, it's a really good resource. You've already paid for it in your tuition free tutoring. So if you find that you just want time to talk with somebody, get some help with some homework, go to the math center, drop in and uh, get a tutor that you like, find out what the schedule is and go back and meet with them. It's really a great, uh, great tool that we have. All right, still in resources, I want to talk about the calendar. Print this out <laughs> and look at it all the time. This is going to show you what I'd like to have done by when and when things are due. So I laid this calendar out. Notice like we're doing course intro right now. You have a couple other day one tasks that um, you know are listed in the in the week for it. Um, and anything that's italicized, that's when it's due. So the week one forum is due on Wednesday. We have to have it done by 11.59 on Wednesday. Um, you should be watching the lecture 6.1 on Wednesday, 6.2 on Thursday. And then on Friday, um, week one response is due. So your forum response to this other person's entry. And then the practice quiz one is due. And uh, this practice quiz, uh, I'm calling it practice quiz one. And uh, I think that I might change its name to no let's keep it practice quiz one and i'll just call this one practice quiz one b i'll change that um so this is this first week and if you'll notice on on week two on monday do five do the 5.1 lecture on tuesday do the 5.2 now these are i think the latest you should be doing them you can of course do you know do them in whatever order you want but anything that's italicized like i said that's a hard due date so this practice quiz one is due that that'll be a one b on that Wednesday. The times quiz one is due on that Friday. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Feel free to ask me questions about that if it doesn't make sense. I have the midterm on here. I also have the final on here. A couple study days built in. Um, and I did not ask you to do anything on the days that the college is officially closed either. All right, that's the calendar. The calendar, again, print it out, refer to it always um, if you're worried about what is due when. And if you scroll down in resources, uh, typing symbols in WAMAP, this section is a really good section to look at as well. This is ways that you um, that you can um, enter things into WAMAP that you want to look like math. And I'm going to show you an example here in a sec. If I were to, uh, I'll go over to messages. And if I were to make a new message, uh, let's see, send new message. I'm not going to actually send it to anybody, but I could type, you know, blah, 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 whatever I want to say. But notice this uh, this plus the add new math right here. If I click on it, I get that dialog box. And if I want to say x squared, x to the second power, I'm just going to arrow out of here and notice it formats it for me. So all of this formatting like this, there's more than that, uh, than just the listed here. But this is pretty much everything that we would need for formatting in here. So take a look at this, know how to enter things in. You'll be doing that on quizzes, you'll be doing that in emails, you'll be doing that in forums. And again, I am happy to help with it if you have questions about it. So let's take a peek at week one again. Uh, you're watching this video right now. Uh, I know, weird, huh? Um, like I already showed you input into this too. Each week we'll also have a quizzes and forums section. So if I open that up, Here's week forum, week one forum. Notice I have a prompt here for it. Um, and I also have the practice quiz. Due dates will be on here. And notice uh, this says late pass allowed. You will get some late passes. Look in your syllabus for details on that. Um, I think you get, well, look in, your, look in your syllabus to see how many you get. You can always go back by clicking on this, kind of the main menu. If we look at week two, you can see the lectures that are in here. You can see those quizzes and forums listed in there as well. So um, that's the structure. Get your week one stuff done. Send me any questions, questions that you have. Just again, use our messaging through WAMAP. 
And uh, like I said before, I'm really fo looking forward to looking. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try that again. I'm really looking forward to working with you. I, I love Math 142. The, the trig in here is super, super interesting. It's really good. So send me questions anytime and uh, just do a good course.